Okay, uh, today's video. Uh, I'm calling this uh, new video series on a new LR308 I'm building, the Spare Parts 308. So when I get around to creating a playlist, that's probably going to be part of the title. Something, something, spare parts. Anyway, today's video is just to showcase the difference between a G10 billet upper versus a C10 billet upper from New Frontier Armory. And we'll talk about a couple other things, but I'm going to try to keep the video short today. All right, let's get let's get looking at these things. Okay, so we're almost there. I've got just about everything I need except for the handguard. I'm probably going to go with another Midwest Industries. So we're almost ready to start putting this thing back together, but let's get back to the receivers. Okay, so we'll start off with some long views. And then we'll do some close-ups. And I'll talk about the differences that I can see. This is the C10. Right side. G10. Right side. All right, let's flip it around to the other side. Okay, left side of the receivers, C10. G10. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was on their website, they list the weight as being the same for both of these. And I think I remember it was 5.8 ounces. Um, this original version, the C10, is noticeably heavier than the G10 when I pick them up. I don't have a scale, otherwise I'd weigh them for you, but this is noticeably lighter just handling it. So let's do some close-ups and we'll see the difference in machining. And it only makes, only makes sense that the G10 would be lighter. Okay, so on the C10, you can see here, uh, right in front of the dust cover, how much material is there. And then if we go over to the uh, G10, you can see that they've removed quite a bit of that. Um, the rail, you can see uh, that they lighten that up by machining out the, uh, the center of the rail slots. They've also put lightning cuts in the deflector back here above the forward assist. Whereas on the C10, there's no lightning cuts. All right, let's take a look at the other side. Okay, so on the G10, you can see the same thing. They've machined out this area here a little bit more and put a lightning cut in there. And they machined this whole center section out. More lightning cuts up here compared to the C10. So compared to the G10, the C10, it's a beefy burrito. And like I said, it is noticeably heavier. When I pick that up, and then I pick this up, I mean, there's, there's no G. I wonder which one's heavier. No, this is definitely lighter. Okay, so for the dust cover, I bought two kits. And um, the New Front to Armor uses an AR-15 mil spec rod for the dust cover with an E-clip. And even though this is longer, um, what you do is you slide that E-clip in between the dust cover and the receiver right here. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to get in there and get out, but I like the cleaner look. Um, because the rod's shorter and it uses an E-clip, you don't have to rely on a hand guard or a delta ring to hold your rod in, or your pen, whatever you'd like to call the, that dust cover thingy. And uh, Aero Precision gives you a longer one. And it has no E-clip uh, provisions. It's just a smooth rod. And um, I'll, I'll install this real quick and show you the difference. Um, like I said, the uh, New Frontier Armory comes with an E-clip to, to lock this in place. And the Aero Precision does not. 
Also on a new Frontier Armory, I will not be using that thing because I had trouble on the first build using it. There was something about the pole design that stuck into the receiver too far and locked up the BCG. And this is also a press fit version. So we won't be using that. So I will be using the uh, Aero Precision, which is a pinned forward assist button, which I think is generally considered a superior, more robust, less likely to fail design than the press fit version. All right, so I'll install the Aero Precision dust cover with the Aero Precision rod just to show you what the difference is between how this is going to look with Aero Precision, which I'm not installing, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. All right, you guys know what I'm saying. Okay, so once again, this is the Air, our uh, New Frontier uh, setup here. And like I, I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but you can see because the E-clip captures the uh, AR-15 mil-spec rod, this does not rely on your delta ring or handguard to hold a rod in place. We're on the Aero Precision, you can see where it sticks out quite a bit further. So you have to rely on something uh, like your handguard or delta ring to hold that rod in place. So if that matters to you. Um, so I'll be mixing and matching this kit and uh, getting the door on the way I want. And then the, uh, what I consider the better quality Aero Precision assist knob. All right, well, I just got a phone call, and uh, my lower just got out of jail. So I'm going to head back down there and, and pick up the lower that I also purchased for this new build. So we'll end the video here. I just wanted to kind of showcase the difference between receivers and what I'm going to do for the uh, completion kits. All right, Pete, North Las Vegas. Over and out. All right, quick bonus clip. Um, when you're installing your E-clip in here, what I do is I leave this out just a little bit. I get the E-clip started in a groove and keep up my finger on it, a little bit of a tension so that I can feel the groove in the pin. So as I slide the groove in, I can feel that the E-clip uh, gets into the groove. And then once I know it's in the right place, I, I squeeze it in there. Um, if you don't have enough clearance and you want to do it this way, you just take a file shave off a thou on this side of the, uh, the cover, and then uh, shave off a thou on this side. And that'll give you plenty of clearance to get that E-clip in, or it should. And then uh, even though you can't see it, I'll usually put a little bit of cold blue on the part that I filed, um, just for some corrosion resistance. But anyway, here's a look at the old uh, C10. And here's the G10. I think the G10 looks better, and like I said earlier in the video, it's it's a, it's quite a bit lighter. I was kind of surprised. All right, so like I said, my lower's out of jail. I got to take off and go get it later. Pete, North Las Vegas.